Whether you're hopping into an Uber or leaving to go meet someone new, there are going to be times when you need someone else to know your exact location. And sadly, Android doesn't really have a way of doing this that is built directly into the operating system. But Google has a new application called Find Hub. And its main goal is to offer a way to manage Bluetooth location trackers on Android. But you can also use it to find lost or missing devices like smartphones, smartwatches, and Bluetooth earbuds. And it just received a new update to help you share your current location with someone. Let's take a look. Sadly, not everyone is going to have this application installed on their device. So your first step is going to be pulling up the Google Play Store and then doing a search for Find Hub. You should see Google's Find Hub app show up in that list and go ahead and install it on your device when you see it. Open it up and you're going to see some prompts about granting location access possibly even reminding you to enable the location settings on your phone. But it's actually really easy to share your exact location with this app. After it's open, tap on the People tab down here at the bottom, and you're going to see a big button here labeled New Share. So let's go ahead and tap on that. From here, you can configure how long you want your location data to be shared. And after the time has been configured, you can choose to share this within an application that you're actively using, or you can copy the URL so that you can paste it into an email or text message or whatever. Some people will prefer to use Google Maps to share this type of location data since that app is going to be pre-installed on virtually every Android device that's being used today. But Find Hub is definitely an app that you need to have on your phone. So for those people who are actively avoiding Google Maps for one reason or another, or maybe you're looking for a Bluetooth location tracker app to use, Find Hub from Google is definitely the app to use. And if you would, please consider giving this video a like so more people can be made aware of this app and its functions and subscribe to the channel too for more Android tips like this.